we are doing somewhat of a self-care, self-love reflection time in this portion of our video because I feel like 75 hard can be such a go, 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 go. We got to get it. We got to do this. got to do that. It's such a check list check box of a program that um i want to make sure that i am uh, promoting um some time to kind of like yourself and to self-reflect and to kind of rest and to breathe and settle your brain so i figure why not kind of do like a self-care routine really quick i just brushed my teeth and did like my dental hygiene um, routine but i'm gonna do my uh face routine as well as um my hair routine and we're gonna take a couple of steps back just to kind of breathe and everything um i will say i actually have a wedding to go to this weekend um we have a lot of weddings this year and i'm so excited about that because god is moving marriage is from god oh i just i love it i love it it's just it's just love makes me so happy i love love so i actually have a wedding so i need to prep and do all of this stuff anyway so i figure why not just press the cord and get it done so we're gonna do a face mask and um hopefully get rid of some of these dark circles i got <laughs> and um also do nails because i changed my nails out um so we'll get to that as well as hair so let's get started so while that's sitting i just sprayed some rose water and then i'm going to put a little bit of oil on my face just because um because the mask requires vinegar i don't want my face to um i won't say break out but it gets like super red when um I take it off and I don't want it to be super duper harsh. So I just kind of want to massage this into my skin first um, to just give it a fighting chance, you know what I mean? <laughs> so I've noticed that in most of my videos, I am always going this way to take off like makeup and everything. But my mom taught me way better when I was in college, I believe, is to always go in because you don't want your, um, your eyes to sag and that skin is so sensitive under here you always take your ring finger and go in and make sure that um you're not dragging your eye sockets or whatever this is called <laughs> you're not dragging it down so just wanted to make sure i made that known don't follow don't do don't do what i don't do what you see just follow what I say, okay? <laughs> but yeah, just make sure you're always going in and going upward and not going here because that's da more damaging and it ages you a little bit more. Self-care. Uh, this journey is much more about mental fortitude and emotional resilience as it is about physical strength and discipline. It's vital to understand why slowing down and pouring back into yourself is not just beneficial, but essential. The 75 hard challenge is demanding and it pushes you to push your limits with daily workouts, strict diet, um, mental exercises. It's just easy to get caught up in the grind of things thinking that the relentless pursuit and non-stop action are the keys to your success. But here's the truth girl, without proper self-care you will risk burning out, losing the motivation to completing this challenge, and even injuring yourself. And let's be real, the pressure to perform to not miss a single day can be just overwhelming, okay? <laughs> you might feel guilty for wanting to take a break or fear that slowing down means you're failing, but just acknowledge your, your limits and take care of your mental and emotional well-being. That is not a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. It takes courage to be transparent with yourself and to admit that you just need the rest and to recognize that self-care is a crucial part of any rigorous program. Okay, so we are going to let this dry. I'm also gonna put some in my hair and then we'll start with our, um, our hair wash routines. 
And while I still want to make sure that I push and motivate you and inspire you to complete the challenge on time, I want to make sure that we're putting things in perspective. Think of your body and mind like a high performance car. Even the best engines are going to need regular maintenance and they can't run at top speed continuously without breaking down. Slowing down just allows you to check in with yourself to ensure that you're not just moving forward, but moving forward healthily and sustainably. Slowing down is going to give you the chance to reflect on your progress progress, reconnect with those motivations and your goals, and prevent the burnout like I said earlier. Pouring back into yourself just means doing things that nourish your soul, mind, and your body. Take care of them first. It takes time to engage in activities that bring you joy and relaxation. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It is necessary. You can't pour from an empty cup. couple more minutes for this thing to dry thank god um finish reading our 10 pages um and i need to do some work really quick on the laptop so i'll be working in bed for a little bit and answering emails and whatnot so i'm gonna do that and get back into the rotation of this <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that. so take time and think about the engaging activities that bring you joy relaxation whether it is reading a book whether it is spending time with god whether it is taking a holy girl walk spending time with your loved ones think of these activities as essential for maintaining a balance that you will need to sustain your drive for this particular challenge and as you continue this journey just remember to be kind to yourself we extend so much grace to everyone else and we're able to be so kind to the people around us that we forget that we start with the kindness within. Acknowledge your efforts and just listen to your body and honor all of your needs. It may sound selfish, but it's not. Embrace the power of self-care as an integral part of your success during this challenge. If you slow down, take a breath, do something for yourself, pour back into yourself you're not just taking a step back you're setting yourself up to leap forward with a renewed mind frame so i think we've got the gist right like i understand you're probably like girl we get it <laughs> but this is how you're gonna get it done number one you're gonna set boundaries you need to clearly define your work hours your family time your personal time stick to these boundaries to make sure that you can give appropriate attention to each area of your life number two you're going to prioritize your sleep oh my goodness quality sleep i'm telling you it's going to be the foundation for your physical and mental health aim for a regular sleep schedule and i mean it <laughs> ensuring that you're going to get enough rest to recover and recharge three mindful nutrition ooh, ooh, girl pay attention to your diet not just for this challenge but for your overall well-being number four exercise mindfully while the 75 hard challenge requires a lot of physical activity listen to your body include stretching and low impact exercises to kind of complement those high intensity workouts that we're doing most of the challenge <laughs> so and the last one is going to be connect with your loved ones spend time regularly with your kids your spouse your family your friends social connections are going to be very important to your self-care journey while on this challenge because they're going to provide that emotional support that you're going to need and joy like our kids and our families bring joy right <laughs> so we're doing this health fitness wellness journey for one reason alone and that is to obviously take care of our bodies and to just improve our quality of life right god has only given us one body so you're not only enhancing your ability to complete this particular challenge but it's also to help your quality of life while living on earth self-care is going to enable you to show up fully in every role that you play whether it's being a mom a professional a spouse a friend remember you're not just pushing through a challenge quote unquote you're building a sustainable healthy lifestyle that's going to benefit you and everyone around you so embrace your self-care routines and let it empower you to be the best version of yourself in all aspects of your life you've got this self-care is not a luxury it is a necessity and think of it like this how on earth are you going to fulfill your god-given purpose if you go down 
You're not going to be able to provide that love, that guidance, and that support for other people if you're physically exhausted, emotionally drained, and mentally overwhelmed. Neglecting your own well-being not only compromises your health, but also your capacity to fulfill your roles effectively. God has ordained our bodies as vessels to carry out his work on earth. We are called to honor our bodies, to nurture and protect them so that we can serve his purpose fully. When we fail to care for ourselves, we are not only neglecting our needs, we are also hindering our ability to fulfill the divine purpose God has for us. Taking care of your body, mind, and spirit is a form of worship. It's a way of saying, I value this gift of life and the mission I have been given. By maintaining your health and well-being, you position yourself to be an effective steward of the responsibilities and blessings in your life. You are able to love more deeply, work more diligently, and serve more faithfully. Ugh! Lord have mercy. Listen, you are worth the investment and the world needs to know you at your best. Take care and keep moving forward with faith and determination. I promise you, you got this. Until next time, my love.